Shot Glass Podcast, where we take shots and shoot the shiz naive. I'm your boy Pyro. And I'm your girl Sunny Pizzy. And we in here, man. Episode one. We've been test running it. And now we here and we ready. And it's time to go. So we're going to start the podcast off. See the shot glasses up here. We each going to pick a shot glass, which have different cities on them. And we're going to take a shot. And we're going to get this podcast on the road. At your... Ladies first. What's that? Says Virginia Beach. Says I'll regret this tomorrow because I probably will. Virginia Beach. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and go with you. Welcome to New York. Welcome to New York. That's not how it goes. Yes, it's not. Yeah. So we gonna get this show on the road. For your own troubles. For your own troubles, little lady. What? What? Ooh, Kimo Sakurai. Well, let me not my bed. Shot glass podcast. Now, before we get into these Ooh. topics, I want to start off. Me and Sonny P do date night once a week. We didn't go last weekend because today is Monday. Yesterday was Father's Day. So, um, Shout yeah. Out Happy Father's dad. Day to all the dads out there. Fathers. It's a difference between a dad and a father. Yes. Happy Father's Day belated to all the fathers out there. Definitely. But we took the kids to... uh. A place called Scene 75 is up towards the Cleveland area. They mm-hmm. have fun. Definitely did. But we usually do like a date night and a food review. And the weekend before that, we did go to Virginia Beach. So let me ask you mm. personally. Oh my. What was your favorite place to eat when we was at Virginia Beach? I'm probably going to mess up the name of that place. Um, Lunacy. L- Lucia. Let me see. Let me yeah. see. Um, it was just very fresh. Um, it was good. The drinks were good. The environment, the vibe. We sat outside. It was hot as the fiznuck. Yes, it was. But just overall, it it was very nice, and I enjoyed just because I had seafood. The freshness of that. What about you? Um. This is going to sound kind of cliche, but I like the Sunny Side Cafe. I knew it. And I was going to say that would have been my pick, like, if we were just going to pick a breakfast because we went there for breakfast. But that, like... <sighs> Let me tell y'all, Sunny P got the rental toad. Always want to wear them sunglasses. They on her head now. Always want to wear the sunglasses. Can't see where the heck she going. I could see. I was telling her the whole time I we were up there. I could see. Hey. Know, Listen, just pay attention to your surroundings. Yeah. I should have listened to <laughs> Bay when he was like, hey, because where we were at was like right by the boardwalk, right by the beach. We were like really within walking distance to everywhere. I was being lazy. It was hot. I ain't want to walk. I want to be cute. But um, yeah, I, had to I, walk three I got miles to miles to go get the rental instead of walking. Point seven miles. To I the got the rental spot. toe. We had to walk every bit of like 30 blocks to get the rental. I yeah. was on fire. So and it, it was good to me because I was sitting there eating breakfast. I had got a a, a sunrise <laughs> mimosa. I had some Belgian waffles with a little sausage. Yeah. It had the strawberries, blueberries, the, cream, the blueberries. I was slamming. Fucking it up. As soon as we get our food, I hear her say, oh no. She gets up and run out because. They already had the car on a lift driving yeah. down the street. She chasing. 
I didn't really chase I kept like a small jog to like the corner. But um, point is, the, that, that was that jog when somebody holding the door for you. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> holds on. Um, clearly, like the people have a lot of um cars getting towed just from there because the way the restaurant is and the way the parking lot is like right next to it, a lot of people mistaken it for being the parking lot to the restaurant, which is what I did. And um, I paid the ultimate yeah. price, but it was a big sign that said no parking. Yo, she will get towed. She had them glasses on. She didn't see it. For the record, everybody, <laughs> it was my it was my birthday weekend. I was drinking, so I wasn't paying attention, and I was allowed to not do that. So people in the restaurant looking at me crazy because um, I didn't get up. <laughs> let me just say that that was by far one of the best breakfast places I have ever been to. Um, even though I got Shout the out. rental towed, <laughs> I had. The Crab Cake Benedict, which was fucking just amazing. Um, I had a peach bellini. Like, up until the car got, the rental got towed, I was having the best breakfast ever. Like, I was having my little peach bellini. I still do. Had my little shrimp and grits with the crumble bacon bits on it. Like, I, it was really, it was a bomb-ass breakfast place. And I probably wish that they would have been open before we left, because I would have loved to go in Ooh, there. Yeah, yeah. I'd love to go back there to have breakfast before we left. It was definitely, definitely a great spot. So, yeah, check. Uh, if you ever in Virginia Beach, mm -hmm. check out the Sunnyside Cafe mm -hmm. and the Luna Sea. Now, the Luna Sea was the first restaurant we went to. Yeah, that's where I had to so calamari. They're not open on Mondays or Tuesdays, right? That's what they say. Yeah, that's what, that's what they say. Because we fully went by there like on Tuesday and they was fucking open. But their sign definitely says close Monday, Tuesday. They are open Wednesday through Sunday. Or maybe it changed during the I believe season. until like 1 or 2 o'clock in the morning. Maybe it yep. changed during tourist season. Well, how did you enjoy where we went to, um, what was it, the Abbey's Pub and Restaurant across the street oh, yeah, from I the Luna Sea? And that was a place that was like featured on diners, drive-ins, and dives. Um, I don't know if it was that particular one, but that place was definitely on diners, drive-ins, and dives. And I thought that you liked their food as well. Yeah, I had a uh, a chicken. A, I said a chicken. A chicken. A uh, jerk a, chicken. A, a jerk. A jerk chicken. I put the both of the words together. A chicken. <laughs> a jerk chicken wrap. <laughs> yeah, I had a jerk chicken wrap. It kind of reminded me of the one the international jerk here makes. So shout out to them too. Cause the, yeah. you know, I jerk got the shit. I love. Um, you introduced me to international jerk when you bought me. I believe it was um either a soft taco or a burrito. It was a jerk chicken burrito or soft taco. Yeah. The portions that they give you here at International Jerk is amazing. I probably could have got another piece of bread and had a whole nother like soft taco pita whatever euro whatever. For sure. Shout out to you guys because definitely excellent food, great food, seasoned. So shout out to y'all. I don't think that I ain't seen them active lately. I I no, kind of want to say they got they like I feel like they got their own building now. So I think like they kind of moved up from right now. from the food truck to having a building. And if that's the case, if I'm correct, those are big moves. And shout out to y'all on that. And um, blessings and nothing but positivity and prosperity to y'all. Oh yeah, they still open. Yeah, I need I'm yeah. them with the head. Yeah, they got nope. a spot. Uh, well, let me see. Hey, okay, she went. In, she went live two hours ago, saying they're getting ready to open soon. Okay, yeah. So shout out to them. Shout out to y'all. Love y'all's food. Great. Super love it. Yeah. All right, so let's get into these topics. Yeah, let's go. Lead the way. Um, ladies first. <laughs> we are going to get it kicked off with talking about in Alaska how I believe it's elementary school students were served floor sealant because they thought it was milk. Um, it says a dozen Alaska children were given floor sealant at breakfast this week because the product was accidentally delivered to a food only warehouse and then mistaken for milk. What wow. yeah. in the mm -hmm. entire mm -hmm. hell? Yeah, it says um, I'm going to mess it up because I can't really pronounce that. The Genoa, Genoa. School district. Genou. 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 The Genou. Francais. Genou. Parlez-vous The Genou school district said in a statement that an investigation by multiple agencies, including police, into the apparent mishap has revealed more information about what happened Tuesday. The students were attending a summer child care program. 
an elementary school in Janu and were given the sealant Tuesday at breakfast and Ooh. started complaining about the taste and a burning sensation in their mouth and throat almost immediately. What yeah. in the hell? 12 children and two adults each drank up to three ounces of the sealant. All 12 students were recovering Wednesday evening and some had fully recovered. The original error was traced back to the spring of 2021. What? When one pallet of the sealant was delivered to a school district food warehouse mistakenly at the same time as four pallets of shelf-stable milk. Okay, uh, so. I don't know what floor sealant looks like for to know if they can really do, just be mistaken for milk. And I'm just like, is it also like in a gallon? No, see, shit like that is hazardous so it has to have some kind of label on it like i refuse to believe that y'all put floor sealant in milk gallons and labeled them like milk yeah gallons. and see the only reason why i'm like well maybe it wasn't in a gallon is because it says that it was on four pallets of shelf stable milk so does that mean like maybe it was packaged different and it wasn't per se in a gallon jug or maybe in something else that they probably like just like a bucket I don't know, but clearly, um, the people at that elementary school, staff, oh, faculty, I'm teachers, maybe everybody needs to go back to um school and check on their reading because who can't read? Who who can't read? Well, look who's talking, Mrs. Get the car told. Paying attention and reading is two different things. As we just saw, I did a great job one. of reading what's one. going on now, same so it's one. not the it's not same the same. One. I wasn't paying attention. I know how to read. Okay. Yeah, but I, that's just crazy, though. Because, like, at my job, we pack hazardous stuff. And yeah. all, even at the factory, when you doing hazardous stuff, you got to put that it's hazardous on there. It had hazardous labels on there. I refuse to believe that somebody just packed that stuff up and it wasn't no hazardous label on it. Even if it did go to a, a food warehouse... I'm not seeing how they just didn't have no labels on it and couldn't read that. Yeah, that's what I, I refuse to believe. I definitely do. Okay, sorry. So, yeah, so that's we crazy. So we can, we can move on to the next topic. This is dope. <laughs> the next topic is... We have this Vince McMahon steps back as WWE CEO amid investigation of alleged employee okay. affair. Ooh. He was out here dropping dick off in Lil Duval's words. Um, Today, WWE CEO Vince McMahon voluntarily stepped back from his roles within the company amid an ongoing investigation of an alleged affair and payout with a WWE employee. His daughter, Stephanie McMahon, will serve as wrestling promotions interim CEO and chairpersons. Yesterday, the Wall Street Journal revealed that WWE's board reportedly launched an investigation back in April regarding a $3 million hush money payment to a former employee. According to the Wall Street Journal, the woman who was hired as a paralegal back in 2019 signed a separation agreement with McMahon in January that barred her from discussing or disbarring her relationship with him. A WWE spokesperson also told the paper that the relationship with the ex-paralegal was consensual. Ooh, oh, so, was consensual. Yeah, he wanted to drop off dick and she wanted to receive it. So how does she get a $3 million payout if this was consensual? And... If well, no, because... okay, it's, it's not an allegation, I guess, if it's consensual. Okay, why is he had to pay out three million dollars of hush money? Like, if it well, was consensual, I guess, I guess he paid her because I guess he, he probably felt bad after a certain while or wanted to cut ties with the young lady 
and not want to worry about what she was going to do. So after he got done having his fun with her, he was like, I'm going to take care of you and still give you some money. You're going to be all right. Just don't like I'm say taking nothing. the dick away. Just shut up. That's what I assume. Okay. Oh, That's but here, you know, and just like I read, and it says that it was um consensual, but it says that she was hired as a paralegal and she signed a separation agreement. And it so says she that she win. couldn't discuss yeah, or so, say anything about the so relationship. So it's like, bitch, they, if you, if no, you knew, how did they find out? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. If if she couldn't say nothing because she signed it, mm-hmm. he probably and had you to gave, say something. And you gave her hush money. Somebody somewhere <laughs> ain't your friend is running their mouth. I think somebody else want to get a bag too. Somewhere, some down a lot, somewhere down the line, he had to tell somebody, somebody. Somebody wants to get a bag. He had to tell somebody because you she think so? Had, if she signed that paperwork, she's a fucking paralegal. Yeah, she can't. If she signed that it. paperwork and she told you know somebody, he yeah. can get his money back. He can yeah. sue her for the money. So yeah. I don't understand how that all comes and plays into part, but um, clearly Vince is still out here getting some punani. I thought he was a little bit way too old to do what that. Was it but... called Hot Boy Summer? Yeah. He having a grandpa he old summer. Too. He having Obviously, a... he need to step down and just go ahead and live his life. He and, unless, hot, he, hot summer. unless he gets some like kind of enjoyment out of doing that, as long as he's been doing it, probably so. Well, you can just enjoy your life, man. Vince McMahon, we love you, man. You done brought a lot of great wrestlers into the world. You done shut down WCW, ECW. You are the only wrestling source of wrestling entertainment now. Shout out to Vince McMahon, the the mogul. Yeah, I definitely was um, a WWE SmackDown fan when The Rock was really... Um... First coming out, it was a oh, yeah. it was a superstar. Um, I like The Rock. I like um, Rey Mysterio. And don't judge me. I used to love and had a crush on um Rikishi. So, yeah. The the yeah dude that slapped his ass and dude, put his ass in people's dude. face. Oh my yep. gosh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Man, wrestling always. I haven't watched it lately, but I know yeah. it's still pretty Years. much entertaining for the yeah. younger generation. Yeah. I know kids are still watching our kids our... check up on it every now and then yeah, yeah definitely so you still yep. watch wrestling so shout out to y'all and um stephanie has definitely been in the business for a long time because yes. um isn't she still or wasn't she married to triple h so i think they're still doing their thing and then they also have a show spinning off of like i guess getting the things that the wrestlers have when they're in the ring and they sell that memorabilia or they try to get the memorabilia to put into like their museum, because some things oh, that yeah. the wrestlers have, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. or the stuff they gave away, they trying to buy it, back. buy it back. Yep, yep, yep. 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 So yep. shout out to them for that. That's so, fire too. Yep. Shout out to Vince McMahon, man. Oh, McMahon let's, family. Let's move on to this next topic, please. All right, here we go. On to what is this? The New York Post. A woman is eaten by 20 pet cats after she collapses dead. I know I don't like cats for a reason. That's why I got a dog. Yeah, for um, sure. A woman was eaten by her 20 cats after she collapsed at her home and was not discovered by cops for two weeks. And just started eating. Man, like she don't got no family. Nobody check up on her. Police were horrified when they discovered the partially eaten remains of the woman who has not been named after receiving a call from a concerned co-worker. The woman was a cat breeder who kept the 20 giant Maine Coon pedigree cats in her home. What? Cops were alerted by one of her employees who said she could not contact her boss inside her home. Police found her partially eaten body surrounded by hungry cats police believe she had been dead for two weeks as they probed her decomposing remains she uh. was found at the property what is this in batsyak rotsva region in russia <laughs> <laughs> happened in russia wow the cats were left alone on their own for two weeks there was no food so what else to eat miss mabel i'm sorry Oh my gosh! Wow! Wow! That is just mm -hmm. a dog would never. Well, let me say it's, never. Um, I don't know. Well, I guess one of the 
animal rescue experts said, you know, what else was he supposed to do? It's understandable, right? They ate what there was at some of the some of the healthier cats have now been rehomed to new owners for just I'm going to guess that's like twenty nine dollars, twenty nine pounds, twenty nine pounds <laughs> each converted. So, you know, it's not like it was their fault. I guess they're basically trying to say this is just instinct. The cats were left in a home for two weeks with nothing to eat, no food. This woman had died. It'd been two weeks. So once you're hungry, it's probably like a little cat that was like, I'm just going to start with her finger. And then it, it just went from there. That was very vivid. Sorry. <laughs> but but cats are are smart and cats are assholes like cats aren't here to protect you cats look out for their motherfucking I'm, self i'm pretty sure the cats probably could have opened them cabinets up <laughs> use the can opener open up some catnip or something yeah, and they just Bag like, of chips nah, and bread we gonna eat her i'm gonna just eat the lady yes yeah, so. that, that is crazy that's definitely a crazy story. Um, I don't know what Maine Coon cats are because that sounds a little racist. I've never heard of those cats, but it clearly can't just be like a tabby cat. Like these have to be some, like she's a breeder. So these have to be some sort of like breed that can like bring her money. So. Mm. Yeah, that's crazy. So I'm just going to go ahead and segue into the next um topic. After you take the shot, shot glass podcast. Shot glass podcast. And um, Wait, we're right. speaking of, you know, Father's Day and wishing fathers all the love. Um, it's been a back and forth battle between Corla Ray and her father Benzino. It's a kind of love hate relationship, but she shared some throwback pictures of her dad for Father's Day and stated that she loves him. But there are a lot of comments on the shade room about the pictures that she shared in which a lot of people are calling Benzino's pictures sus. You know, I don't Here's know. Here's one. What do we call this pose? <laughs> the leg up. <laughs> the knee high. Because, I mean, I don't, I don't even really want to say, like, it's a bad picture. Like, for one, I'm, I, I don't know. I, I. It's, it's, it's it was back cold in the day. that night. It was, it was back in the day. Like, clearly, I if she wrapped in a towel, like, did she just have a bath? And maybe he was in the bedroom eating and she walked out the ba the um, bathroom and came over to the edge of the bed and he just gave her a piece of whatever he was eating. Like, it's innocent. It's probably was before Benzino started rapping, before okay, it became... Okay, but if he was laying in the bed eating at his feet like that, like, let's, let's, let's give this a name. This is the, huh, have it. By your mom. <laughs> right. Here, hey. baby. Here, baby. Yep. Here, you can have some Precious of this. baby. Here, bye-bye, <laughs> babies. Bye-bye, <laughs> babies. So, yeah, I, I don't know. Um, And then I guess the other pick that they said was kind of sus was because his hand was on. <laughs> Did he fully look like he do customer service uh, at Apple? <laughs> oh, my goodness. He looked like he worked at a furniture mattress store. <laughs> Yes, he like he's like a a sleazy car dealership person. But you see in this picture, she says, "Happy Father's Day, Ray Dog. I love you." Like I said, they have a love hate relationship. He was just talking shit about her and her song that she did with Nicki Minaj, and you know, kind of being like a hater on that. But then turned around and said he was sorry. So it's like, you know, these are pictures that you know the younger generation now they're not used to this. Like this is probably like a Polaroid. You had to probably like fan it. Like a <laughs> you know, like I said, this is before people become popular, become yeah, anybody. That's crazy. Yeah. They he probably was getting ready to leave somewhere. And he was like, "Hold on, let me take this picture." And he was like, <laughs> "He was like a mom waiting for their child to get off the bus." Yeah. After they've been bad at school. Yeah, he definitely like a mom <laughs> that's mad at her child is waiting for them to walk up the steps so they can cuss their ass out. <laughs> definitely so. But um. And speaking of Father's Day, let's talk about. My guy with the goddamn... He right up there with Nick Cannon, ain't he? Hell yeah, he is. Where we at? Young Jock has how many kids? How many? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 13 kids? 13 kids. Ooh, he does not pull Ooh, out. Ooh, he, he, he don't know what pull out is or condoms. Look at that, that second comment. Pull out game. 
ain't shit. Ain't nothing. <laughs> pull out game ain't weak. I just gonna pull out. This bitch. nigga's more fertile than a gerbil. Honey. <laughs> Than a rabbit. <laughs> Look, I see a comment where it says Nick Cannon has twenty four hours to respond. Ooh, Nick ain't got nothing on Jock. He got the starting five, the whole bench, and reserves. We said meet him in a trap. Let's go with Dow. Yeah, it went down all right. Yeah, and you ain't pull out. Man, just imagine if he got put on child support for all those kids. <laughs> yeah <laughs> but i would just like to say on a positive note shout out to jack because it appears that he has a good enough relationship with all his kids mothers and his kids to be in their life and be mm -hmm. an awesome father not dad okay so shout out to you jack taking care of the kids loving the kids being a dad it takes a village he has a village he does so, the oldest one raised the youngest one. <laughs> Jock, but now nobody puts you in a home when you get older. You better be able to stay with one of these motherfucking kids. You better be able to stay with somebody. I don't know about the one that's down here in a little Trouble 3 shirt, the red shirt, because he looked like he might not deal with your shit when you get old. He might push you off somewhere. But the girls definitely look like they got their dad. Especially the one holding his arm. <laughs> that's daddy's girl number definitely one right there. Definitely so. Yeah. Definitely. They got him. All That's right. beautiful to see. Let's move on to the next stop. Pie. Get me close under these tabs. Next topic. Um, I guess it's really just stating what more information we have found out in the 17-year-old who was beat to death at the I Promise homicide investigation. Yeah. Um, you know... I've heard so many things that have came out with, um, what is it? What kind of gun was it that he had? The, the jail. The jail guns. guns that he painted, right? He painted the gun. I'm guessing. And he froze the bullets. And I just, right now for me, it's a sad topic both ways. This boy lost his life. That's sad. But the things that you did and then you then you went out into this neighborhood and you did these things. You kind of have to expect certain things. Like I said, it's just it's just a fucked up situation. Can't control how people going to react to the things that you do to them. Yeah. Yeah. Or the things that you do in public for yeah. that matter. Because what you may think is funny for you is not what is going to be funny on the receiving end for those who have to deal with what you're doing. Um. It's just it's it's sad. It's 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 really three sad. Three people got arrested. Um, seventeen year old was found dead around ten thirty p.m. in the school parking lot on West Market after his friends called nine one one, according to Akron Police. Summit County Crime Stoppers issued a thirty thousand dollar reward earlier this week, and Akron Police said tips from the public led to the suspects being identified and homicide warrants issue okay before we go on y'all giving out 30 bands right mm -hmm. and y'all got tips and it led to the arrest so mm -hmm. what they do split that 30 bands up or nobody got the money i would imagine that whatever tips led to them getting these three arrests those people are going to have to split the 30 bands what um, U.S. Marshal said the arrested suspects are 21-year-old Donovan Jones, 19-year-old Tyler Stafford, 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 and 20-year-old Deshaun Stafford Jr. So his brothers. Yeah. Oh goodness. On on Saturday, authorities tracked Tyler and Deshaun Stafford to a home in the 500 block of North Howard Street, where they were arrested. Donovan Jones was arrested at home in the 200 block of Crosby Street. Oh, this is just so sad. Um, I mean, that is... Ethan's family says our whole family is beyond thankful for the help the community has given us throughout this whole process. We've seen horrific things, but the good we've seen is so much brighter. We love our son, and we miss him dearly. Akron police initially said Liming was knocked unconscious and brutally assaulted by the suspect during a fight. Police Chief Stephen 
Milet confirmed new details Wednesday and said there is no evidence the murder was a hate crime. Milet said that the altercation began after liming and three others arrived at the parking lot and started firing a splat ball gun at people on the basketball court. It is not clear if liming fired the splat ball gun. Oh my gosh, this is just so sad. Oh my goodness. Um, I guess officials in the U.S. Marshals in the city of Akron shared the following statements when announcing the arrest, which simply states, um, Ethan's senseless and tragic death has touched every person in our community. The arrest would have not been possible without the dedication of our Akron Police Department and the collaboration with the U.S. Marshals Northern Ohio Violent Fugitive Task Force. They have worked around the clock on this case, and I thank them for their tireless efforts. My thoughts and prayers remain to the entire Liming family at this time. Akron Mayor Dan Horrigan. I feel like if you gonna charge them boys for the murder, mm -hmm. you have to charge his friends too. Yes. Yes. Because without and... y'all, he wouldn't have been going to do that. Mm -hmm. Obviously, he wasn't driving. Here's the thing for his me. name was driving. My biggest thing is it's so much of a bigger issue because this boy got killed. But if it would have just been him getting beat up and all these details would have came out, it would have been taken out so different. So I feel like everybody should be charged. Yes, I feel like Ethan's yeah. friends should fucking be charged because y'all froze these bullets. Y'all went out with intent to cause some sort of harm or bodily harm, or to hit other people. What they call it an accessory? If you yeah. take somebody to go do something, they yeah. end up doing something, you yeah. an accessory? Yes, you are an accessory. These children are an accessory. It is very sad that this young child lost his life. It's very senseless that this whole ordeal even fucking happened. It's very sad that no one saw the fucking bullets being frozen in the fucking freezer. It's, very, it's fucking sad, period. But everybody needs to fucking be charged. And I don't feel like these kids wanted to kill this boy they were angry at being fucking hit and probably thought that they were my, fucking it was minding their own business. and probably thought that they were fucking shot and dead and then when they realized they weren't that fear turned into anger like jody off of uh, baby boy i thought and, i was dead exactly and and this is where things happen for every was it for every cause and it's, it's an effect for every action there's a reaction this is what it is and we can't just sit up here and take these kids and be like, oh, yeah, y'all fucked him up. Y'all did this and y'all took his life and not take these kids who y'all took this gun. Y'all froze these bullets. Y'all went out to the neighborhood and y'all did this to these people to where it caused this effect. Everybody needs to be charged. And, and I don't wish jail on nobody. On nobody. But... If it be, if the, needs to be some lessons if learned, the boys getting arrested for beating him up. They mm -hmm. they didn't know they killed him. They were just like mm -hmm. they gonna kick your ass yeah, and whoop shit. your ass, and probably didn't know that they even killed him. Probably just thought they really whooped his ass. That's crazy. And this is where it's not just about us having a court system. Y'all need to talk to these fucking kids, talk to these boys, and see what the fuck their mental is, what their mind is. And like I said, everybody needs to be charged. His friend, Ethan's friend. Yes. I'm sorry to the family. I'm sorry this happened, but. To Ethan's friends, all all of y'all need to be charged because you were wrong too. It wouldn't be none of where we're at right now if y'all wouldn't have done what y'all did. That's true. I'm gonna just leave it at that next subject. All right, we gonna um, NBA rumors. Kyrie Irving could leave Brooklyn Nets and has already interest from three teams. Irving has until June 30th to make use of his player option worth $36.9 million if he choose to pick up the option, Kyrie Irving Lee would effectively become a free agent. Irving has been with the Nets since 2019. And it's crazy because he's been on, what, three teams already? This is going to be his fourth team because he started with the Cavs. He went to Boston. Now he with the Nets. Ain't did nothing with none of those teams. He is the drama. Yeah, I'm gonna say so. Is, is he the drama? Okay, yeah, but, you're okay. The drama, so what they say, they saying? Uh, let me see where they say the teams are interested in him. Mm. The Los Angeles Lakers. How ironic! The Los Angeles Clippers and the New York Knicks. Now, 
this would be quite stupid for him to go to the Lakers mm -hmm. when you left the Cavs. I don't think the Lakers have better players right now than the Cavs had when they won that championship and then you left that same fucking year. You left right after you won the ring. Mm -hmm. Kyrie Irving got one fucking ring, probably get another one. You are the drama. Great basketball player. Kind of be with the antics off court. I'm really not with the flat earth shit or none of that. You just kind of weird, bro. <laughs> just kind of weird. You think he's weird. Oh, he just kind of weird. He got a shoot up. I think Nike about to drop him from his deal. Well, damn. Because he came out with some black shoes. Mm -hmm. And he, he called them whack. He called the his, shoes he came out with whack. whack. Yes. Well, he said he didn't have no opinion well, in, or input on that's making fine. them and stuff. Mm -hmm. So I think, I really think Nike about to drop him too. So, I mean, Kyrie Irving is a good basketball player, but he's a real weirdo. Real weirdo. Well, I don't know what's going on in your life, sir, and what's going on with you and what choices you make to get you with the life you have. I mean, clearly people are paying you. You have money. So maybe you want to look into other things because now you have the money to Bruh, you do. you me a shot? What? Did y'all just... I didn't see that till just now looking at my cup. She filled me to the motherfucking brim. I have to get up and go to work tomorrow. She still can sleep till noon. I can't be doing this. Here's that. My pussy hurt. <laughs> ah, she shot me. Oh my I, goodness. I, I'm bleeding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to take this one, but God damn it. We're Don't pour me. I pour my own troubles. Don't make no trouble for me, God damn it. Don't make no trouble for me. Lord. Shot glass podcast. Man. The coolest podcast that shoots the shit in the world. Speaking of shooting the shit. Well, damn, that's a horrible segue. <laughs> that's a horrible segue. <laughs> uh, we going to discuss this uh, mass shooting in Washington, D.C. Yeah. At the Juneteenth Festival. We can't have nothing. Police are asking for the public's help after a mass shooting broke out in the Washington, D.C. killing of a 15-year-old boy. The Sunday night shooting took place during a festival called Mochella, which was celebrated, which was celebrating Juneteenth. The 15-year-old boy, identified by police as Chase Poole, was killed and three people, including a D.C. Metropolitan Police officer, were injured. Metropolitan Police Chief Robert Conti says the officer was expected to be okay and the two civilians were listed in stable condition. And this was all on Sunday night. Okay, no so oh, go, go, go ahead, go ahead. I'm go sorry. Ahead. No suspects are in custody at this moment. Police are collecting evidence and interviewing witnesses in a statement that the um, police, the police chief made on Monday. So let's see if I can play some of this footage and make sure the volume is turned down. Who is this, Michael Strahan? Mm -hmm. Look at my dude doing news and stuff. Shout hey, out to Michael I Strahan, can man. I can hear it all. It's not supposed to. That's why I said I'm going to turn it off. Just wanted to see some of the mayhem going on. <laughs> no, we don't we don't have copyrights to this audio, so we're not gonna play it. You can read the uh the closed captions up there. People is just out to enjoy Juneteenth. And look at this. Now just for what? See, and this is like I And I believe they're trying to bring charges on the people that were um doing this Mochella because I believe they're trying to say they didn't have a license or a permit. So everybody just all black people just gather like black people do. You know, this is you know, it's it's messed up because somebody probably really was trying to be positive and do something positive and give 
us something positive to go to and enjoy and be outside and interact. But this is where motherfuckers can't get along. Like, what the fuck? Is it this is it this much hate like in the world? This is just ridiculous. For what? This is crazy. Well, let me let me just say one thing. I'm not I'm not against Juneteenth. I'm not I'm not really against no holiday. I don't celebrate holidays for the same reason that other people celebrate holidays. I take all holidays, Christmas, <laughs> Thanksgiving, 4th of July, uh, Easter, St. Patrick's Day, Labor Day. I take all holidays as a time to sit and be with my family. Now, Christmas is the, Christmas and Thanksgiving is the only exception because we give gifts to the kids and we mm-hmm. do that little thing and then we cook and be mm-hmm. with family mm-hmm. on Thanksgiving. Correct. But that's the only exception. I don't I don't celebrate holidays for what they are worth, but I just think once they made Juneteenth uh what is it, a federal holiday now? Like that just paid that holiday. just opened mm-hmm. these crackers. And I ain't talking about y'all white people that like black people. I'm talking about the crackers. crackers. The right. crackers. The Karen's. The cans, the, mm-hmm. the the crackers, it mm-hmm. opened up a what they a can of worms. Yeah, yeah. Opened up Definitely a can, can of worms mm-hmm. for these people to be racist and to do the things that they gonna do to fuck up shit. Now I don't know if this parade was messed up by a white person, and I'm not gonna assume that it was because it was a whole lot of niggas there. But I'm pretty sure somebody somewhere in the United States of America was celebrating Juneteenth. And ran across some racist <laughs> white people. Yeah. And then, not even that, all these white people trying to take advantage of selling stuff for Juneteenth. They had the Juneteenth ice cream. Mm-hmm. 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 That's, that's, it's, that's true. It's crazy. And then, you know, they want to make, um, I guess it was a thing where they, um, the Fox 8 News did coverage of Akron's um celebration of Juneteenth and there were like a lot of racial comments in the comments of that live and this is where it's just like you know people are talking about what is this or what is Juneteenth and you know this is just stupid making all these derogatory remarks and everything but y'all have 4th of July well no like y'all have a clear like where's our Juneteenth but they have they have the 4th of July they they probably get mad about like Columbus Day and and shit like that. But y'all have all the holidays. Like they do. We have Black History Month. We have February. We got a whole month. The shortest month. Shortest month. Shortest month. And then just within this past year, y'all gave us Juneteenth where it's celebrated. What is what is so wrong? Who did that? Biden or Trump? Um, I'm gonna Leave my mouth closed on that because I do not know. Yeah, we don't know. If y'all know, um, put it in the comments. But yeah. my whole thing is like we can celebrate like Asian Heritage Month. We can celebrate Pride Month. Um, Shout out to the Gemini's. We the best. Um, y'all got a lot of pride. <laughs> and we love <laughs> whole lot of pride and going we, on. And, and we shout, we love shout you out to all. the pride people, man. I don't discriminate. Yeah. LGBT community. Lettuce, you, bacon, you. tomatoes, Kiana, shit. <laughs> whatever oh that seed gosh. is. But um, just don't discriminate. we have a lot of other things that we celebrate. It's never an issue. It's not a problem. So how come when it's us? This company <laughs> is. I mean, I say company. Mm-hmm. This this country is still racist. Very much. There's a lot of people. Very much. Being racist, either closed doors or openly racist, it's still it's still going on. But yeah, I honestly like okay. So we don't know if this Washington D.C. was shot up by some black people or some white people. But if it was shot by black people, this is the exact reason why niggas can't have shit. Can't have shit. Niggas yeah. can't come together. Yeah. Hey, yeah. disclaimer: if niggas could come together like we do. When it's time to do the electric slide, mm-hmm. we'd be unstoppable. Yes. 
We'd be yes. unfucking stoppable. Stop being mad at one another. Stop being at somebody else. Stop being mad at somebody else winning. Stop. Stop being mad at somebody else building a platform that you might not have built, but you mad about it. Like stop and just be. Let's. What's wrong with being positive? What's wrong with being happy? What's wrong with enabling one another and uplifting one another? Yeah. Like this is what we like. They talk about. They Grabbed have these the memes. Barrel. They have these memes where they talk about you know oh. The white man gets money, he put his people on. The Asian get money, put their people on. Black people get money. They don't want to put nobody on. They don't want to share their money. They don't want to do anything. They don't want to share the wealth, the knowledge, no nothing. Like, oh, I'm just going to notice. You can't eat with me. Why? A real boss why? makes more bosses, not workers. Like, eating together, like, we win. Like, why? LeBron James made his friends bosses. Shout out to LeBron James, first actively playing basketball billionaire. Yes. Shout out to LeBron James, but he put all his friends on and made them bosses. They might work for them, for him, uh -huh. but they're bosses of what they do. So shout out to that man. Yeah. Yeah. Just this, this, this world we live in. I'm not gonna say I don't want this people. It's, it's, it's sad. I'm not gonna say I don't want to celebrate Juneteenth, but if it's like this, I don't want it. I feel like it's like a pity holiday for the black people. If this is what I gotta deal with, Joe Biden, Joe Biden couldn't give. If Joe Biden made the holiday a federal holiday, he couldn't give black people what Trump gave everybody, which was the PPP and the SBA loans. This is the best he could do. I'm gonna give y'all a holiday. Like I was just telling you before we, you know, started doing this, just I look on Facebook every day. It's somebody dying. It's somebody passing away. It's 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 senseless murder, senseless bullshit. It's like right now. The world is in a state of a fucking purge. Like, yeah, we just fucking sit up here just killing people. Like, this is this is sad. All right, next subject, cause oh my goodness, condolences, my to poor people to everybody. Who lost yes. One. yes, happy belated Father's Day. Um, happy Juneteenth. Happy Pride Month. Uh, happy Pride Month. All that. Yes. So let's get into the real love. <laughs> it's your boy Pyro. I'm here with Sunny P. You know it. The P stands for pathetic. Damn. <laughs> Dang. The P stands for plagiarism. She's been stealing a lot of content from motherfuckers. I'm just playing. We we do it together. <laughs> Only steal your stuff. <laughs> the P stands for. Dang. She just a what, hater. The P, what the P stand for? It's positivity. Okay. The P stands for positivity. The P stands for a plethora of things that start with a P. Yes. It's a whole lot of P going on. A whole lot of P. Dang. It's your I'm boy pushing. Pyro. I'm pushing P. If I push <laughs> you, I'm pushing P. Okay. <laughs> okay. Let's get into these games, man. Let's go. These are games that y'all probably seen if y'all was watching oh, Public Politics oh, Podcast. Before we even go into that, I do want to mention before we start these games, how... Because we were talking about celebrating everything for just Pride Month and everything. Little Nas X would like to bring the word bussy into the dictionary. And so that a little loud. He was happy, huh? And the people. Well, he said he, he wants to do it. some bussy. No, but he said he wants. Sure. <laughs> she thought about it. She didn't have some bussy. You know what I do behind closed doors? Ain't nobody's business. Mm, but not to me. Um, yeah, well, definitely yuck. not to you. <laughs> To All me, right. to myself. Yeah. Um. Oh, never mind. But he would like <laughs> to bring the word "bussy" into the dictionary. That the dictionary responded with, "We um put WAP in the dictionary, so anything's possible." And Happy Pride Month. Bussy is basically the male pussy, and which is basically yeah. Boop. Okay. So if you don't use it, you don't have one. But if you use it. Then you got one. Little Nas wants to put the word bussy in the dictionary. It's a lot of y'all men out there that have bussies. And do. You might not use it, but you still got it. You do. You do. <laughs> Manginas. Mm -hmm. Definitely got bussy. do. Definitely. It's definitely. Oh, yeah. Hoochie daddy short wearing. Shut up. Oh, right. Hey. No. Hey. No. Hey. No. Hey. No. Hey. No. Hey. Niggas going to be wearing leggings next. No. Watch what I tell you. Niggas gonna be wearing leggings next. Watch what I mark my words. Niggas gonna be wearing leggings next. Hoochie daddy shorts. 
What? What is that? Would you wear some Fashion Nova men's clothing? My shorts have to come to my knees. Would you wear some Fashion Nova yeah, underwear? Yeah, I see. I see some 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 fire Fashion Nova. I ain't wearing no Ethicas or no PSDs or no transgender underwear. It's like, dude. Would you wear some Fashion Nova underwear? If they was like briefs or boxers. Underwear. Boxer yeah. briefs, okay. yeah. I, I, I don't know. I don't know, but I'm just saying. I would wear Fashion Nova. I seen some fly ass shit from men from Fashion okay. Nova. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Shout out to Fashion Nova. Hey, let me. Hey, sponsor me. Listen. You see, I, I'm the uh Keeping the graphic T king. Him. I'm the graphic T oh king. Goodness. Nobody in the city has more fire graphic tees than me. I'ma come with a different graphic tee every episode and be fire. Ooh, I'm got high. And the shoes. Too what was I saying? I forget. And your, and your shoes to match. You definitely always Why hit it real hard. get comments <laughs> everywhere that we go. It's always yeah. somebody stopping and saying something. We can be shopping. We can be shopping. Somebody's going to stop and say something. We can be going to a restaurant. Somebody's going to stop and on our way to the table and be like, oh, dope shirt, bro. I don't mean to toot my own horn, but beep, beep. Toot, toot. Beep, beep. Okay. Beep, beep. All right. King of graphic tees, man. If y'all haven't seen these games, we're going to play a couple of games from the Puffin Politics podcast we used to do once upon a time in the nursery rhyme was Three Bears. Shout out to the Bros. Yeah. Um, actually, we're only going to do one game. No, we're going to do two. You just don't know what the other game is yet because I got the questions for you. Oh, I don't like this. She don't like it. Pineapples. Pineapples. The peace stands for pineapples. Eat them pineapples, okay. girl. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Everybody eat pineapples. All y'all girls eat pineapples. Please do. Stop, stop drinking cognac and drink pineapple juice. <laughs> girls who drink cognac, pussy tastes like pennies. Yeah. Smoke mild. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, so we're going to play this game called One Gotta Go. One Gotta Go. We each going to give each other some options to choose between. And one gotta go. So, Sonny P, you know, ladies first. All right. One, uh, gotta go. I'm gonna mess this up, but I'm gonna try the best. One, gotta go. Go Han, go Ku, Vegeta, Trunks. I don't know if y'all can see, right above her head is like a Dragon Ball Z picture. And I have one in the back of my studio. You really took some time asking this. Is that your best question? They can't see that. They can't oh. see that. I'll I show them. I feel like it is. It's a damn good question. It's, it's a very good question. Um. Damn, Goku and Vegeta can't go. I'm just going to answer real quick because I know this is something that you had to think about because when you watch this and I watch it as well, but because I don't know this person as much, I'm going to say that Trunks, Trunks can go. No. I, no. Let I'm me, just let me, being let me honest. Tell you why, my decision. Let me tell you why Trunks can't go. For me. Go let ahead. me tell you why Trunks can't go. Because Trunks defeated Cell in his time when, every, when Cell killed everybody. Cell killed yeah. Goku and everybody. Yeah. Trunks killed Cell and then came back with the antidote to stop Goku from having a heart attack. You are invested in this show. Yes. I'm sorry. Yes, and then Gohan was the one who killed Cell. Yeah, I definitely Gohan and Goku and, and Vegeta don't go anywhere. Cause Vegeta is a dog. Like I don't give a fuck how much he be going through shit. He might lose. He the fucking dog. I, but and I, I really want to say Gohan can go because he became like a book boy. He became a nerd because of his mom. That's not his fault, but he became a real nerd what? and like a, a generic superhero. But he beat Cell. I re I remember watching that episode when he. What if beat it's Cell? gonna come up to where later down the line? His knowledge and his, you know, shit with books well, turn into him like winning some whole different shit. Like you, you, no, you never. You now, never now it's Gotenks or Goten. It's Goten. Gohan got another little brother. Well, damn, I did not know that. I, yeah, so I don't say trunks can go. I don't. I don't know to like. Um, even though that's a hard one. 
I'm gonna I'm gonna say Gohan gotta go. Trunks can't go. Trunks was a Super Saiyan before a lot of motherfuckers were Super Saiyans. He came back from the future. Okay. Trunks is Vegeta's son. I know. I know who he is. I know. Yeah, he's way harder than Gohan, if you ask me. Okay. Gohan gotta go. Sorry, my Dragon Ball Z lovers. Gohan gotta go. That was a hard one. Pound it on that one. That was a good one. Thank that you. was a good one. That was a, that was a real good one. <laughs> that was a good one. Let me ask you. All right. One gotta go. Excuse me. Soul food or Mexican food? Tacos or pig feet? I don't eat pig feet. Oh, tacos. So that's like my bread, my mac and cheese, yeah, my food. greens, soul food. my cornbread. You eat pig feet? I don't eat pig feet. You eat pig feet? No, or chitlins. No, chitlins. You don't eat none of that. Mm-mm. Liver and onions. That's soul food. Mm-hmm. Nah, that's bottom of the barrel food. I don't know if that's. Oh my god! Just know. because you don't eat it, it's not mean it's bottom of the barrel. It tastes food. like eating a metal pole, oh. a chewy metal pole. All that damn iron shit and fucking liver. Ugh. Okay, my bad. I love Mexican food though too. Or soul like food. Good burrito tacos, some elote. The, the uh, burrito tacos, the elote, mm-hmm. the um, mm-hmm. the corn asada. The margaritas. Oh. Um, I just feel like the memories and the things that soul food creates is not something that can be met by Mexican food. So I have to go sadly say that Mexican food would have to go. Because... Like, I cook, and so I know how soul food is meaningful. I know how it it means something. I know the memories and the people that it brings together and the good times that it creates. So I'm going to have to go with that. My last name is Guerrero. My name is Pyro Guerrero. Oh, my gosh. (laughs) Give me the tacos. Give me the tortillas. Give me the corn. Give me the rice. Give me the refried beans. Give me the margaritas. Cinco de Mayo. I I, I love Mexican. Yes, you do. I want to be Mexican. You kind of do. Call me a wetback. Let me build a a roof in a week for $5 a tile. (laughs) Let's me be Mexican for a week, please. Get Modelos and Corona. Modelos and Corona. Mm-hmm. Yes, with okay. the lime. Yes. Party R nine homes. Okay. That is me. Wow. I am Mexican. Okay. I breathe Mexican. Okay. Yes. All right. That is your answer. <laughs> yes. And you is sticking with it, huh? Sticking with it. I love my black people. I don't really eat a lot of soul food. <laughs> And that's what it is. I'm not going to. And I started to throw Cajun in there. I still would have picked Mexican to go because I like Cajun food Ooh. too. Like some gumbo. Some some, some some shrimp creole. Some jambalaya. Yeah, I'm not getting rid of that. I love you. One got to go, y'all, between Mexican Jorge. food and soul food. Let yeah. us know. What you, yeah. Like Let I said, know. I have my reasons. And those are mine. And those are yours. So... One gotta go. Shot class podcast. <laughs> Matter of fact. <laughs> okay. Before you even ask that. Tequila is Mexican. So what you drinking then if, if Mexican got to go? Man, that is a good question. You drinking vodka? You drinking cognac? You drinking brandy? You drinking champagne? What you drinking? I probably would just fucking drink champagne because I don't even like no brown liquor. Ugh. I'm not drinking no rum. Bottom of the barrel. I'm not drinking no whiskey. Yeah, no whiskey. Bourbon. <sighs> I'm not drinking Hennessy. Well, I drink bourbon and whiskey and all that stuff in my mixed drink. I ain't drinking. That's a mix. I ain't drinking it straight. 
Yeah, I've definitely, I've definitely drank Hennessy mixed. My head, like that's the Hennessy strawberry lemonade. Yes, yes. wasn't bad. Yeah, Henny strawberry lemonade, right. whatever. Yeah. Okay, moving on. One gotta go. Caucasian comedians. <laughs> Adam Sandler. Classic. Will Ferrell. Ooh. Jim Carrey. Seth Rogen. I kind of was going to leave Seth out, so really kind of just say between Adam Sandler, Will Ferrell, and Jim Carrey. Yeah, Jim Carrey and Seth Rogen couldn't go nowhere. I'm not taking Jim Carrey out of nothing. Yeah, ouch. I'm not taking Adam Sandler out of anything. I fucking love Adam Sandler okay. and Eight Crazy Nights. Okay, so. And Big Daddy. Let me, re- let me rewind that. I'm not taking Adam Sandler and Jim Carrey out of nothing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Cause okay, what was that movie uh where he was God? Jim Carrey. Is that Bruce Almighty? Bruce Almighty. Mm-hmm. That was the funniest Funny shit ever mm-hmm. when it, he went to the new station where he used to work at, mm-hmm. made that dude say all that. Yeah. I yeah. was like, Oh my god. Funniest, funniest the mask. Movie. Yes. Chick chicky yeah. boom, chick chicky boom, chick chicky boom. <laughs> Both Ace Ventura. Yep. I fucking love it. Yep. Get the fuck out of here. Liar liar. Oh, hilarious. Dumber, dumber. Yeah, yeah. Dumb and dumber. And dumb and dumber, too. Yeah, so. Hilarious. Yes. So. <laughs> and Adam Sandler can't go because what was that? Angels in the Outfield or what's the, what's the, what the, the baseball movie with the little boys? No, that, that was not the one. Oh, that was like Keanu Reeves. Wrong, wrong guy. Yeah. My bad. <laughs> and G-Baby and Hardball. Yeah. He, he did play in a baseball movie, I think. I don't know, but I can't get rid of Adam Sandler for Eight Crazy Nights, for Big Daddy, for Grown Ups, um, one and two, um, for what is that, The Water Boy? Okay, and who was the last? Will Ferrell. Will Ferrell. Other guys. Ooh. Step Brothers. Seth Rogen gotta go. He do yeah. other shit. Even though he like do Pineapple other shit. Express, Seth Rogen could probably definitely go because, yeah, everybody else is hilarious. Yeah. And I said that Seth Rogen isn't hilarious, but you just have not been. Oh man, Step Brothers. That was the movie. Yeah, that was the, the other movie. guys. Fucking hilarious. He was in the other guy mm-hmm. with the, uh, Samuel Jackson and the Rock at the beginning. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Hey, go with my. Well, are you ready? And for the bushes. <laughs> so, is it my turn? Yes, it is. All right. One gotta go. Sunkissed or Fanta. Fanta. You don't fuck with Fanta? I don't. Damn. They don't taste nothing like Sunkiss. Sunkiss tastes like cut of orange and made into a pop. And Fanta is like a mandarin orange in like two seconds. It's flat. I'm there's I'm not no. Yes. I'm not going to any fast food so you, place you, you and they can, have Fanta to drink. And I'm like, oh, yeah, let me get an orange Fanta. You compare them both of the, the orange Fantas for the whole brand? Yeah. Or the strawberry. I don't like strawberry Fanta. Oh, you Blueberry, blue raspberry Fanta. It's nasty. Tastes like cough syrup. I'm going to agree with you. I tried to persuade your decision. Mm, no. I'm going to agree with you. I drink pop, so no. Fanta. Has to go because some kids got the strawberry lemonade, the blue one, mm-hmm. blue raspberry lemonade. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hey, let boss outside. Got kids and a dog. All right, so it's my turn, and we're gonna go on to one. Gotta go, male rappers. One has to go in all the music they ever dropped. Future. Drake. Little Wayne, Meat Meals. Meat Meals. Yeah. Easily. Easily. I, agree. I agree. I agree. Easily. Now, if you wouldn't have put Meat Meals in there, that would be a hard one. I would probably have to say Future. Okay. And that's only because you got everybody doing these drugs and you don't do them. Okay. And he was talking junk about Steve Harvey. I fuck with Steve Harvey. I'm be talking. Well, let's talk about Lori Harvey. What the fuck is going on with her? Gonna leave Michael B. Jordan for goddamn Jack Harlow. I just feel like, you know, she wasn't ready for a commitment. She wanted to keep up her hot girl summer. And so she, um, she kind of like move on to men like the seasons. So Jack Harlow probably won't last too long either. Wait a minute. Now I'm saying that. 
I don't blame Future for saying that. Tell Steve Harvey, I don't oh, want yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. That's gonna be a thing now. He Jack Harlow gonna be saying that he next. He definitely <laughs> might be in. Michael B. Jordan might be in another video with fucking Future, and he gonna be in there, and they both gonna be talking shit about her. Like, who who knows? Because you know, Future is paid like that. That could, that could be very well true. But it's your turn. Boom. Boom. One gotta go. One gotta go. Where it's going? Grapes, oranges, or apples. Mm. Grapes, oranges, oranges, or apples. or apples. And you just said you compare the Fanta and the mm -hmm. Sunkiss because of the orange. Grapes, oranges, or apples. Mm. Green grapes, purple grapes, green apples, red apples, oranges. Blood oranges. Ooh. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, apples to go. Granny Smiths. I uh, yeah, no, I don't. Macintosh. I I only fuck with Granny Smith. Caramel apples. I only fuck with Granny Smith, and those are good, but not better than a fucking blood orange margarita. <laughs> um, uh, those candy grapes. I mean, yeah, you yeah, bye. Yeah, only thing I really like to do with apples is dip them in peanut butter, or maybe cook with them when I'm making my cheesecake jars. I'm gonna agree. Apples can go because Eve bit the goddamn apple and made Adam do it. <laughs> that shit gotta get the fuck out of here. Okay, okay. One gotta go. And I know you can be like, ooh, Sunny D, Kool Aid Jammers. High C or Capri Suns, and I'm gonna say Kool Aid Jammers could go. Even no, actually, Sunny D can go. I do not like Sunny D. It's disgusting. Sunny D could go. Yeah, the Sunny P the P stands for pathetic. What kind of shit is that? What? You don't like Sunny D? No, I don't like it. it's creamy. It's nasty. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Citrus juice. No, it's not juice. Remember Tang? I love Tang. It's the same shit. No, it's not. Kind of. No, it's not. If anybody no, remember not. Tang, mm -hmm. tastes very much it like Sunny not D. It like Sunny D. Definitely. Not does. even. Definitely. Not does. even. Definitely does. I'm going to get some. Sunny D could go. Fuck okay. it. Okay. What's the choices again? Sunny D. Kool-Aid Jammers. High C or Capri Suns. I'm going to say Kool-Aid Jammers. I know. You probably would because you fuck with High C. No, it's not. It's not even that. Like... The white people don't make Kool Aid like black people do. Yeah. Now, if it was black Kool Aid, them Kool Aid jammers. Oh yeah. Sweet. Give yeah. me that. Yeah. Give me those all day. Honestly, for me. Honestly, not to cut you off, but I don't like the Kool Aid that comes that's already mixed with the sugar. Let me have my own goddamn sugar. Okay. I even take Flavor Aid over the fucking white people Kool Aid. Right. If I can make it myself. Give me the flavor aid. I'll um, get it together. Honestly, for me, all of them could go because I don't drink juice. But I like Capri Suns. If I ever have picked up any of these things and took a sip, it's been Capri Sun. Shut up. She only drinks soda. Sun Kiss, Orange Sun Kiss, Pepsi. She only drink beer. soda. Dark soda. I, I drink Orange Sun Kiss. She drink cognac, y'all. Ugh. It's on you. <laughs> She drink dark soda and eat beef jerky. <laughs> Definitely don't eat beef jerky. <laughs> <laughs> One gotta go. And these are colors that you can wear. Black or white. White. You would never wear white again. You mm -hmm. nasty. You just what? wanna wear some black nasty all the time. <laughs> I'm thinking about clothes. I'm not even thinking about Yeah, that's what I'm shoes. talking about. You got to be clean to wear white. You just going to say black like that? You nasty. Because white is so... Get clean. up out of here. Why? The P stands for don't wash your ass. <laughs> yeah, mama. I'm just that don't even like, make sense. Uh, <laughs> white is so much easier to get dirty. So, black. That's how you know you clean if you're wearing white. You can't you sit nasty, on nothing. Man. You can't sit on nothing. Hey, you can't lean, brush up hey. against nothing. You can't nothing. No, I'm not. But you got me messed up because I gotta that's find my me. Preference. I gotta find me a new one. You know what? She Go gonna ahead. have some black drawers instead of some white ones. Oh yeah. I got this. This can't be happening right now. Oh, yeah. This can't be real. You got the 
black nasty over here. That is. You don't even have no white shoes like I, that. All your shoes I like do color. Have white. Okay. You but have I, white. You know, one shoe you just bought. All your I, shoes are like dark colors. Since we've me, been bro. together, I've probably never owned a pair of all black shoes. You don't shoes. even wear like a white beater. Get the fuck out of here. I got red. You don't even wear beaters. a white t shirt. Get the fuck out of here. That's why white can't go. I'm, yeah, bye. You know, like, more you more of my shoes. Got, anything about me, you never wear more, anything. More white, of my white. shoes have white in them than black. What you got on right now? Some slides. I got on white socks. <laughs> I'm not wearing no fucking black socks. Okay. You gonna wear black socks? I still see what's wrong with black. What's wrong? Okay, with black? okay, okay. What's wrong with black, bro? If we was to get married, you wearing a black dress to the wedding? No, it, but it wouldn't be white. Can't wear white. So what you wearing? It would be a different color. It have to be black. What you wearing? Pink. It, it could be fucking like mahogany. It can be peach. It can be fucking pink. It can be like orange. It can be like green, purple. Like it doesn't just have to be fucking black. Take this black in my hat and take this black on my shirt. Turn it white. I'm fine with that. But you don't have it that way. You didn't buy it like that. You bought it I black. Got white. I got white shirts. But not more than you have black. But this is... Shot the bottom from the top video, bottom to the top video. White graphic tee. Shut up. Fire oh ass my tea. gosh. Fire ass tee. Moving the fuck on. Please move on. You nasty in this motherfucker. I am not. Yes, you the is. Fuck, so your preference is going to be white everything. You're going to be, um, how, who is it? No, but if I couldn't wear black, I'd, I'd definitely be fine with that because I can still wear white. Okay. And that's your preference. You, your, you, preference is, your preference is to wear white, right? No. My preference is to... You said black or white. Yes. And and so I'm wrong because I said black. What's wrong with black? It's nasty. Why is it nasty? Or you're nasty. Call you're black. black. Nasty. You're black. I am nasty, but in a different kind of way. Moving on, please. Black. <laughs> One gotta go. Honey buns, Swiss rolls, oatmeal cream pies, Nutty Buddies, fudge rounds. I have my time with fudge rounds and Nutty Buddies. And I couldn't get no Reese's. I, there was Nutty Buddies. Pause. <laughs> I love a fudge round when they cold. I love a Swiss roll when they cold. I've never probably had a fudge round when they cold. Oh. Mmm. Okay, say that again. Nutty Bun, Swiss roll, oatmeal cream pie, Nutty Buddy, fudge round. And why am I throw a star crunch in here? Doesn't really matter. Doesn't yeah, it really doesn't. Uh -huh. I was already mm -hmm. set on my. Okay, and what's sorry. crazy is because I don't fuck with chocolate all like that. You don't. Definitely does not. Or dark pop. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I just don't fuck with shit that's brown. I don't drink cocoa. None of that. You know, I'm black as hell. I don't want to drink the black and it makes me blacker. <laughs> All right. I'm just going to say, a lot of people might hate me for this. Honey bun got to go. Honey bun has to go. Hmm. It's crazy because I'm only going to say honey bun because I don't like the glaze that's on it and it leaves like that film on the top part of your mouth. And I don't like that. So I like Swiss rolls in the freezer. What? I like oatmeal cream pie. Oh, film on top of your and mouth. I like Nutty Buddy. What's going on inside her like, mouth? And I like fudge rounds, but I don't like whatever the icing is that's your made mouth? on honey buns because it leaves like that film and what? it's nasty. Glaze? Whatever is on the honey buns, that film that it leaves like, in your mouth when you eat it, it's nasty. Glaze. It's, it's not glaze because it, it leaves glaze, a film. Honey. What? So now, honey buns would go for me for that reason. Does anybody know what the hell she talk about? Yeah, comment below. If you eat a honey bun. I've never. And like you have like that. I mean, it feels I do like eat a honey film buns. on like the top part of your mouth or like in your. Or in the roof of your mouth? Yes. Like, I don't. Sugar? I don't want to put it at the equivalent of like if you got some wax on your finger and that shit dry up. That's like what it feel like if I had to guess. So leave your comments below if you guys. Is it gritty? Is it smooth? About. It's like filmy.
I don't know, y'all. Yeah, that's just me. Sunny P stands for weirdo. <laughs> you are you a Kyrie Irving in this motherfucker? Oh Real weirdo. What is your next? She a weirdo. What's bro? your next one? Gotta what go. Kind of shit Do you is have that? one? Honey buns leave a film. Yes. Yeah, it's nasty. One gotta go. One gotta go. Minute made. Ever fresh. Or simply. Ever fresh can go. I don't like their grapefruit. Okay. Juice. Since you said that so fast, let me take ever fresh out. Minute made or simply. One gotta go. Simply. Oh, for minute made. Yeah, simply got that shit though. This is cranberry apple raspberry juice. <laughs> their mango and pineapple juice, or like their mango orange juice. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, Minime gotta go. Yeah, well. Everfresh got so many fire fucking flavors don't. that I love. They don't. I love no, the I love the red Everfresh. I love the blue what's Everfresh. The is that, pr- is the that fruit punch? Fruit punch. Okay. The and what's punch. the blue one? The, it's Paradise Punch. Mm, and they what other one? The green one. one. And what's that? Kiwi. No, it's lime. Oh. They got the yellow one. Yeah. The Everfresh lemonade. lemonade. It's mm-hmm. fucking fire. Mm-hmm. You buying from me all the time? I buy you. Cal- I buy you Calypso. Ooh, I could have added that in there. Maybe next week. Mm-hmm. Maybe next episode I add okay. Calypso in there with something. Because Calypso fire too. All right. It's a couple of Calypsos I don't like. It's not no Everfresh that I don't like though. On you. All right. It's going to just be real simple. One got to go pizza places, Domino's, Papa John's, Pizza Hut, or Little Caesars. Say that again. You was talking real fast. Micro machines sold separately in this motherfucker. Domino's. Okay. Papa John's. Papa John's. Pizza Hut. Pizza Hut. Little Caesars. Little Caesars. Pizza Pizza. Domino's. You Papa fuck, John's. You fuck with Domino's. Pizza Hut. Mm-hmm. Little Caesars. Little Caesars can go for me. Little Domino. I mean, I said Little <laughs> Domino's. Domino's cannot go. Little Domino's. <laughs> I've been playing. He's been a loyal. <laughs> yes. A loyal customer every no. weekend of Domino. Me, shout out to my niggas, Deuce and YD. We've been playing Grand, especially back in the wintertime. We've been playing Grand Theft Auto and start a fucking heist and order some pizza at the beginning of the heist. That shit is there for we get done. Yeah, and it's I, hot. I remember you and said that good. plenty of times. Plenty. I fucks with Domino's. They free fast like Jimmy John's a pizza. Domino's can't go. Hey, I am Domino's. Okay. Um, like I said, Little Caesars can go because it's only good within like the first 10 minutes that you have it. I didn't get the answer to the question. I'm sorry. But I agree with you. Goddamn. Sunny P, the P in Sunny stands for Persistent. Russian. Stands for Russian. Stands for stopping. With a P. The, 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 the P is what? All right, she's being a real thought in this motherfucker. What's your next subject? Oh, we're going to play the uh, 15 questions, 11 questions, however many 13 questions. 13 questions. 13 questions. We don't. Next game. 12. Next game. All right. Because you said you had one that you was going to ask me, so I didn't know. So I was confused. No, I got another game. Oh, you got another game besides uh, what we do? Yeah. Look at you. Look, well, look at you. Up here in the... Thought box. I am from not Pizza Hut. First of all, my thought box, and yes, I like Pizza Hut because I like their stuffed crust. They're not the only ones that got stuffed crust, but they have the best stuffed crust. I fuck with Hungry Howies. Definitely Ooh, not like. disgusting. And all the Hungry Howies is closed pizza down. Places, no. man. It's a lot of good pizza. No. Yeah, you right. You right. Okay. Let me. They had the butter crust, the garlic butter crust. Butter though. stuff. Nobody got that. Butter and stuff. Nobody got the butter crust, but butter Hungry stuff. Howies. Rest in peace, Hungry Howies. We don't know where you at. We need to come back. Please, please, please. Just don't make the prices so goddamn high like they was. Goddamn. Go first. All right. Um, this is called 13 Questions. Get I get 13. It. She's going to text me. She's going to text me 
either a person, place, or thing. And I have 13 questions to ask her and try to guess it. So y'all can play along too. And if y'all guess it, see how many y'all got right. Matter of fact, y'all can play this with y'all friends. If y'all having uh, drinks and a little get together, a little function at the crib, play 13 questions. Write the answer down on a piece of paper or text it to somebody and tell them not to look. And y'all got 13 questions to try to guess out or guess what it is. And I'm going to, since she going first, I'm going to show y'all the game plan on how to figure this out. It's not always effective, but it's very effective sometimes. Shot glass podcast. I got one more of these bottles mm -hmm. to go through on the next podcast. And then I'm going to start pouring my own alcohol into them mm -hmm. and get the little set and everything to go with it. And when we have guests on here, I'm going to try to have y'all guess what alcohol is in the gun. You know, I'm drunk. Is it a person, place, or thing? It's a place and a thing. That would say a place. Is it a building? Of sorts. Of such. Can you go inside of it or when you visit... Are you outside? When you go inside, you're inside. When you go outside, you're what outside. What state and city is it in? You could have it in any state. No, the thing that you're talking about. What do you mean? Like, what city and state is it in? Yes. It's in our city and state. It's in any city and state. <laughs> what the fuck? And you go inside of it. Yes, you can. You can go inside. Okay. You can go outside. If, if it was to be held here, where would it be at? In a residential area. Well, how can I go? What? What? I'm going to somebody's house? Good answer. That's what it is? Yeah, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> see, y'all see how that works? I ain't about to play with you. Yes. Good answer. <laughs> Where you going? Okay, do you see that uh sticky pad over there? Anywhere? It's a yellow sticky pad? No, it's over there where you at? Where you looking at? You ain't gotta dig through it, it should be right there. Okay, close that one, open the other one, please. Go to the next one, please. Okay. It's one pat. Look up there on the top. It's out here somewhere. I know it is. I recently just had it. No. All right. She's over here drinking my sunkiss. It was frozen. Just drink some water. Damn. Bro, you might as well go outside with that. You got ants all in this motherfucker. And make sure you close the door right when you go back in there. How the fuck are you just going to stop the goddamn podcast and get something to drink? Silly P stands for pathetic. The hell? She got me here semi my soul. Well, fuck it, y'all. Um, I'm going to go do something, too. I ain't giving you shit. Why not? Get it yourself. I got to do something. Is 
Yeah, she did. Some Pringles made by Hot Ones. If she can't get some Pringles made by Hot Ones. If you can't answer the question, you got to eat two chips. Damn. Or, or take a shot. What you got right here? Okay, what's the... What's the... Okay, you text it to me. No, we're going to... Uh, since you stopped the podcast to go do all that little bullshit, we're going to take a shot now. Since you wanted to get your drink. Because what you get it for if you ain't about to take a shot? Shot glass podcast. I shoot a nigga with the... F- Stay hydrated, my friends. When y'all drink alcohol, drink water. Your body turns alcohol into sugar. Don't drink more sugar. You're going to become diabetic. (laughs) Drink whatever makes you happy. She's halfway there, folks. Drink whatever makes you happy. She's going to be poking her finger in two years. Why would I, I say that? that? Why would I that say I that? With. Why like, would I say the, that? The petty and the bullshitness that I deal with. Yes. With right. pyro. The P in pyro stands for petty. Yes. This P in sunny stands stands for he's a pussy. So now definitely not. That's you, all you. The juice, the juice. Can't even drink alcohol without your juice. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But if we rewind back to this earlier in the podcast, you were screaming out. Yo, pussy hurt. Cause you poured my shot. Let me pour about a shot, on. but Let I can sit here on. and take a shot. And but you can't nothing. take a shot without having sure nothing can't. to face it. Sure can't. Okay. Sure can't. Okay. Damn. Stop yelling in the microphone. My ears about to bleed. <laughs> Not them motherfuckers. God they ain't going nowhere. You gonna fly away God for they bleed? Damn. Turn your phone over. Okay, it's already turned over. Yeah, cause you always tell me to do that. Go. Can I eat it? No. Is it a person? No. Can I wear it? No. Can I drive it? No. What do I do with it? Go to it. (laughs) Is it a building? Yes. Can kids go there? Yes. Have we been there? Plenty of times. Recently? Yes. With the kids? Yes. Scene 75? Take a shot or eat two chips. I'm going to take two chips, but let me see what this is. Bitch. What's the answer? (laughs) Walmart. (laughs) And I wasn't just there today with these motherfuckers. She was just there oh, two day funny with the kids. I was. I don't know why you think of scene 75. You ain't asked more detailed questions. I you said a building. Have... We've been there with the kids. Okay. Yeah. Let me get two chips. Hold on. Let me text you this. Oh, it better not be nasty. She got to eat two of these Pringles hot ones. Oh. Los Calientes Verde. Oh, it smells so spicy. Why would you just eat them both at the same time? I did. I ate them once. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm oh. asking. You could have just got it over with. I didn't know if it's nasty. You would still have to eat the other one if you I know, did. but still. It don't matter. <laughs> She's definitely a Gemini because the shit she do don't make no fucking sense. You just wanted to eat nasty twice if it was nasty? If it was a piece of ass, you eat it twice? <laughs> All right, now. Um, I was a little... You got your drink right there. I know, but... You got your pop. Your soda. Yo, soda. Yeah, it is mine. Don't drink no more. I will. When y'all go be seeing Sunny P going to stand for getting... Pound it. All right. Go. 
No, I'm serious. I am. You text me already? Yeah. Oh, person, place, or thing. You gotta keep count. Thing. Is it electric, gas, or battery powered? Neither. It's not electric, gas. Or Neither. Battery. Can I wear it? No. Can I use it? No. You said person, place, or thing. It's a thing. Yeah. It's a thing. Yes. It's a stationary object. Yeah. You can't wear it. Doesn't I mean, you can use it in some things, but you can't, like, use it. Four. Can I get in it? No. I can't walk in it or be in it or nothing. Nope. What color is it? Green, brown. I think they come in like red, but definitely typically green. Is it big or little? Little. Oh, my lips is tingling. I don't like hot stuff, so. Seven questions. Can you buy it at a store? Yes. I can buy it at a store. Mm -hmm. It's not electric, gas, or battery powered. Mm -mm. It's small. Mm -hmm. It's a thing. It comes in green, brown, and red. But typically green. Mm -hmm. Typically green. Mm -hmm. I'm going to say green and brown because I've never heard it too much seen it in red. But yeah. Eight. Green, brown. Yeah, green, brown. Which store, if I was to go buy it from a store, which store would I go to to get it? Walmart, Giant Eagle, Target, Marks. Okay, so it's a food. Is it a food? Of such. Yes. Such. Is it fruit, vegetable, or other? Fruit. Green. A fruit is brown? Is a fruit is brown? What? Mm -hmm. Do I like it? I don't really see you too much consuming. Okay. What shape is it? <clears throat> okay, don't answer that. That's not my question. What color is the inside of it? White. Coconut. No. What is it then? Look at your phone. You need to eat two chips. The inside of a pear is green. Inside of a pear is white. No, it's not. Look at it. Inside of a pear is white. It's not green. Hey, Google. Pictures of a pear. Inside of a pear. You said the inside. I said they're green or brown. The and you said the inside of a pear is what is green and white. Here's no. some pictures that match. The inside, the of, a inside pear is not, of a pear is no, green. No, it's not. No, it's not. No, the fuck it's not. It just showed you that. And you know it's not. You see it right the fuck there. No, the fuck it's not. Hey, Google. Brown pears. According to Wikipedia, the burb. Yeah, they're Bro. good. Hell yeah, they're good. Hey, Google. Brown pears. And they're good. According to Wikipedia, the Burr Bosker Bosque yes. is a cultivar of the yes. European pear. And they're good. Originally from France or Belgium. And they're good. I've also had Also known as the Kaiser. It yeah. is grown in Europe, mm -hmm. Australia, British Columbia, mm -hmm. and Ontario, mm -hmm. Canada, and the northwestern U.S. Yep. states of California, they're good. Washington, and Oregon. They are good. The Burr Bosque was cultivated first in Belgium or France. 
Fuck so, you. Shot or chips? For fuck you. Know. How about that? Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Shooting bird. Chips. Nah, give me two chips. Fuck you. Fuck you. I'll, look, I'll see what we playing. You I see this cheating ass shit. First of all, what's cheating? They come in green. They come in brown. The inside is white. You can eat it. It's a fruit. Cheating I mean, ass. You a hater. Just say you a hater. Cheating ass B word. Damn. Mm. 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 Some people might like that. Yeah, some people might. You gonna put your phone down? Yeah. Repeating the P stands for perplex. I'm gonna I'm give you one hint. You cheating. I'm not going to cheat. You just going to lose. All the things that I'm going to give you today are places. That's all I'm going to tell you. Go. It's just... <laughs> Is it seasonal? It's open all year round. Do we go here? Yep. Can we eat here? <laughs> I've never seen it. You can drink there. Can't eat there. Is it music there? Be more specific when you say that. Like playing out loud? Yes. No. Can kids go there? <sighs> no. Would we have to drive far to get there? Sort of. More than five hours? No. More than two hours? No. <coughs> is it water there? Definitely is water there. Definitely is water. Are there animals there? Hell no. That's 10. Can't go there. Can't eat there. We've been there. Mm -hmm. We've been here. Is it wet? What do you mean? Like, is it water there? Is it surrounded by water? Is it wet? No, no, no. They, it's just water there. It's water. It's there. You need some water. It's there. That's it. <laughs> we been. We need some water. It's there. It's just there. We've been there. Did we fall in here? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um. Is it a tourist attraction? A tourist place? Definitely not. I don't fucking know. Restaurant shit. Take your chips or your shot. What you doing? Mm. 
You ain't gotta pour no big one. I know I don't want to do it. You ain't trying to fuck me up. Grrr. Shot glass podcast, man. The oh, dopest, shit. coolest, most everything podcast in the world, Craig. Not just the city, the world, Craig. I'm gonna get my nigga do some YD on here pretty soon. Planet I'm gonna get fitness. all my niggas on here. Planet Fitness. Planet Fitness, folks. And when you asked, can Long kids go there? Yeah. I was gonna be like, that would have been too much though. Because your kids have been, but well, two of your kids have been, but they're not kids really. They're your kids, but they're not kids. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. Okay. That, yeah, I mean, yeah. Got I, I get it. Take your shot. Boom, boom, bam, bam. Make the bed rock. This. Okay, let me text you this. Person, place, or thing. Thing. Is it electric, battery, or gas powered? Ooh, neither. Can I wear it? Yes. Upper half or lower half of my body? Lower. What color is it typically? White. What number am I at? Four. Is it lower than my knees? Yes. Do I always wear it in Ooh. white? Do you always wear it in white? Yes. Typically, mostly. Do I wear them every day? Yes. Could I go a day without wearing them? Some people can. I'm asking for me. You could. Do you... I? No. Socks. He is on a roll. <laughs> he is on a roll. Good answer. This chair is so comfortable. Your turn. Yeah. Shout out to Sunny P. The P stand for gifts. Cause you get plenty of them. Peace now for blowing kisses. I know none of this shit I'm saying makes sense. Fuck okay. it. Okay. Mm-hmm. Ooh, them little chips have got a little kick cake to it. Go. Put your thinking cap on there. I'm giving you a hint. The only hint I'm giving you is they all uh, places. places. Right. Do we go here? We haven't been. Are we going to go here? Possibly. Can kids go? Definitely. <coughs> Is it in the water? It has water there. Can we swim there? You can swim there. Can we eat there? You can eat there. Can we drink there? You can drink there. Alcohol? I don't know. Anything. I don't know. You, you can definitely drink there, though. You can drink there. We haven't been there. No. But we can go there. Me and you haven't been there. Not recently. Not since we've been together. Has your mom been there? Yeah. How often... 
Oh, wait, wait, wait. How late is this place open? Hmm. I'm going to say until the end of October. That's nine. Let's say we can eat there. Yep. And drink there, not alcohol. No, you probably could drink alcohol. I personally don't know. I would assume maybe, but I don't know. Can't give you a definite answer on that. I don't fucking know. Like I would probably say scoops ice cream, but it's what? Nine. I said we haven't been there. Does Sunny P stand for uh turtle? Because she kind of slow. <laughs> <coughs> I'm really trying to think. You got nine. Kids can go here. We ain't been here. We've been a lot of places. And it's a place. Mm hmm. It's only open till August. No. The end of October. I want a house. Uh, we've definitely been to a haunted house. You know, I haven't. We definitely went though. You I didn't. You didn't go. But right, we so went. No. We definitely went. The kids have definitely been here. Zero point. Zero have point. they? Yeah, my son been. Okay, been. that's one kid. That's two kids. That's two out of six. I don't know what other kids. We been. haven't been since yeah. we've been together. Yeah. yeah. Eat your chips or take your shot. Whatever you want to do. Eat the chips. She's eating chips, folks. Cause that's some asshole ass ass shit. Hold on, let me see what my you, did, you didn't even ask if it was it, Yeah, you didn't even ask if it was indoor or outdoor. I did. You did Damn. The weed don't make you smarter. The weed makes you beans, beans is musical fruit. It's good for your heart. They make you person, place, or thing. Bang. Electric, none. Battery, none. None. Can I wear it? Yep. Upper half or lower half of my body? Upper. I just want to show y'all that I ain't no bitch, so I have three chips. One, two, three. All right. All right. How many questions am I at? No, I person plays a thing. Electric gas or battery mm. power. Oh, can I wear? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. Upper half or lower half? You that's okay. four. That's four mm -hmm. That's four. That's four. Is it seasonal? No. I can just wear it any day. Yep. Can I put it on my neck or above? Yes. No, not to your neck, but above. Is it in me or on me? Oh, what? <laughs> what is that? Because <laughs> if you wear earrings, they're in you. On you, in you. If you wear earrings, they're in you. Yeah. In you. In you. Then. It's in you. Is it in my eyes? Is it in my ears? No. Do boys wear it? Yes. Something that's on my face is in my face? Bitch, is it a earring? No. Sorry for calling you the B word. I didn't get your text. What the fuck? I sent it. Definitely sent it. First of all, Pat, no, uh, 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 nope, nope, not even. 
Not even. I said it's in you because it is in you. Stop playing with me. The answer was a tongue ring. I don't know why you didn't get that. You see that? I sent it. Hmm. Yeah. And yes, men wear it. How you like them chips? A little, got a little ting. I couldn't eat the whole thing. I couldn't. I'll probably eat a couple handfuls. That's probably my, cool. my message probably coming through. We had to say what you said to me. I still didn't get it. Well, what the fuck then? What the fuck is you getting if you ain't getting my shit? I don't know. I just now got it. I need pee in a pee stamp. I'm just watching. What the fuck? Hang on here. And this is a place. Hmm. So. Is it seasonal? No. Have we been here? Yes. Can you eat there? Yep. Can kids go there? Yep. Can I drink there? We Alcohol. Not legally. What would kids typically do here? Stuff. <laughs> if I was there, what would I do there? Walk. Is it outside? <laughs> Is it outside? Yes. Is there an inside? No. Can I shop there? No. Can I take a bike there? To some, but not all of them. It's like 50 50. You would take a bike to some of them. Park. Yes. <laughs> yeah, because what? Go on, eat. I ain't get your sex. You see that? I ain't get it. What, what is going on? I'm about to disconnect from this Wi Fi. That's crazy. How many more you got left? Um, two. Okay. You sent it? Yes, I sent it. Person, place, or thing? Thing. Electric, gas, or battery Neither. power? Can I wear it? Like, no. Some people do, but no. I wouldn't wear it. Yeah, like... What kind of people wear it? No. Big. Men? Big men? Or women. But mostly men. How often do... What? Wait, what? If they were to use it in in a wearing form, it would be seasonal. And only big people wear it. They would wear, it, but like I said, you use it. You use it. They would use I, it. I use. It? Yes, it's only a big big yes, but seasonally only a big person would use it more than you. <coughs> <coughs> How often do I use it? How many times a week? Every day. Or at least maybe 
six days out the week, but I'm gonna say every every day you use six it. Six days? I'm gonna say every day you use it. Yeah. Every day? Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna say every day you use and it. And big people use it seasonally? They they can use it seasonally, but they would use it more in seasonal times. But it can be used every day. I use it every day, even Saturday and Sunday. Yes. This is crazy. I promise you, I'm telling y'all right now. <laughs> if he don't guess the answer, and you look at the answer, he gonna talk so much shit. Is it on my upper half or lower half of my body? You can use it either or. Me? Yes. I can use it either. All over. All over. All over. Big people don't use it seasonally. They use it as well, but they use it more seasonally. What color is it? Any color. Ain't no typical. Any color. Is it a fragrance no. to it? Don't have no smell to no. it? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> what number am I at? Like eight or nine. I'm sorry, eight. I can wear it on upper half, lower half. You use it up I half, use lower it. Half. I use it down there every day. Yep. Okay, if big people were to use it seasonal, summer. So, yeah. so big people don't use it every day either. They do. I'm saying yes, they do. But they probably would use it. They use it more if they were going to wear it in the summer. And they come in all colors. And it's mostly men. And they come in all colors. Yes. <laughs> We all use it every day. Big people use it more during the summer months. Every day. Mostly men. So it's a, wear it. it's a hygiene product. It can be used no, as that. No, nigga. Okay. But it's not a product. Can you also do another household chore with it? Yes. It's a rag. Yeah. <laughs> Good answer. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm on the roll, baby. You is. You definitely is. He is a little raggedy bum bum. What made you know it was a rag? I can't tell you that. Because then you know how. I was getting close. Can't tell you that. Well, you, well, big people using it seasonal, and I use it every fucking day. Was like the biggest clues. Like he was like, big people use it more. I, I guess when they, when, it, when it's hot, yeah, they wear it yeah. when it's hot. Hell Comes yeah, in all they, colors. Yeah. Yeah. You little. These ain't bad. I don't like spiky stuff. Go. That's a thing. What? It's a thing, right? Our place. Are you asking me a question? You know, that's all you gave me. Like when you told me from the beginning, it was a, it's a place, right? They all think. Yeah. What did I say? Yeah, they all they're places. places. They're all places. Okay. Yes. Hmm. You still, you still losing. I wish I... I gave you the biggest hint, and you still losing. Because you said they're all places. Um, let me see. That's not telling me nothing because you told me they're all places. That's yeah. why you have to ask questions, babe. I have been. Do can I eat here? Yes. Do we go here? Yes. How often? 
Not often. Is it seasonal? No. I eat here. We don't go here often. Does it have a drive through Yes. Is it fast food? Yes. We don't go here. Do the kids, do the kids like it? Yes. Have we had it recently? No. Is it? He said we can eat it. Is it pizza? What you mean? You got your answer? Is it a pizza product? What do you mean? Does it use pizza ingredients? It's a place. It's a place. And you second eat there. And the kids go there. Yes. And we, ha- But we don't go there. Do, so they serve, do they serve pizza here? Oh, no. They don't sell pizza. <laughs> <laughs> like, what the hell are you saying? <laughs> Trying to cheat the code. She up here cheating, y'all. I'm not. I'm, th- I'm thinking. We don't go here. Kids are Look this way. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think. Is that actually a seasonal? I don't know. Is it seasonal? No. I can go here any time of the year. And the kids been here. Our kids been here? You just asked, you already asked all these I questions. I said can kids go there. Yes. Okay, but I say have our kids going. Yes. Around. You've already asked all these questions. What the hell is going on? Um The P and Sunny P stands for all timers. <laughs> no, it stands for this is probably a dumbass fucking answer because the fuck we don't go there but kids go there. Cool. School is seasonal. That's your answer? Not tired. Do you have summer school? Mm, Yeah, no. Yeah, I don't know. Let me just see what the fuck this answer is. You do go there, but I don't. Have we been there recently? Uh, yeah. How recently? Like maybe like the last two, three weeks. Definitely not. Who's been there? You've been there? You've been there. No, I haven't. We did get the fucking kids some stuff from there. What do we get? I don't even fucking they got like a two for four. We definitely didn't. Okay. Definitely didn't. Yeah, I don't go there. What's the answer? Let these folks know. It's fucking stupid ass rallies. Rallies. Gotta eat rallies. No. I ain't I ain't been to rallies since the motherfuckers up there on fucking Hawkins cheating me out of my goddamn money. Y'all got all these motherfucking uh, high ass, not graduating school ass motherfuckers working at these fast food restaurants. Can't even do fucking basic math. Motherfuckers owe me four hours. I just said, fuck it. I'm just not coming back. That'll hurt y'all more. Y'all ain't getting my goddamn $20 a week. Fuck y'all. You text me. Person, place, or thing. Thing. Electric, gas, or battery powered? Neither. No. Can I wear it? Nope. It's a thing? Yep. Can I go to it? I cannot. I can walk to it. I mean, I guess if you want to purchase it. You can walk to it. Walk to it to purchase. I can buy it. Yeah. Okay. I can't wear it. It's not electric, gas, or battery power. I mean, you wouldn't wear it, no. People do wear it? No. Go ahead and take that shot. You ain't getting out of this. You just missed that last one. <laughs> or you gonna eat some chips? No, I ain't make, no, I ain't gonna, make you take I'm a shot. I'm gonna take the shot because I don't want the chips. <laughs> I might still take some chips after. Shit. This is the part of the podcast where she's getting drunk, folks. Mm-hmm. 
Just pouring that big ass fucking shot for me earlier. Now look at her. She's going to be throwing up. I'm going to go live when she throws up. And I'm going to show y'all. Sorry. Y'all don't be seeing too much of shit. It made me sleep. Snore she or something. Does. But um, that's about it. Go ahead. Next question you're in for. Can you, I can't wear it. It's not electric, gas, or battery powered. Typically don't wear it, and no, it's not gas or electric or battery power. If I was to wear it, like, what kind of occasion would it be? It doesn't have to be an occasion. Could I wear it on a Sunday? Like, somewhere special? No, not really. I don't even know what you can't wear. I don't wear it, or I can't You don't wear it, no. I can't wear it if I wanted to. Would I be considered gay if I wore it? Weird. No. It's weird. If I wore it, if like I, for what? No. If I wore it, how would you? Do girls wear it? They can. Who the fuck wears it? Nobody. They use it. Do you need your hands to use it? <laughs> Oh, I hope so. <laughs> you not answer my question. You being yes. nasty. You need your hands. Yes, to dang. It's not being nasty. You wear it like I would hope so. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. You have like eight questions. <laughs> Color is it? Typically black. It's nasty as it's black. Oh, you always hate no black. Well, you black. You're nasty. I hate my skin because it's black. I hate with Goldberg's lips because they're black. Oh my gosh. Next question. I hate black tires. I hate charred meat. Pause. <laughs> okay, come on. Stop denying it. Let's go. Where would I get it from? Store. <laughs> what kind of store? Any store. Walmart. Walgreens. CVS. Dollar Tree. <laughs> Marks. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Family Dollar, Dollar General. <laughs> you might comply with that circle, okay, but I doubt it. And it's black? Typically, yeah. Black. Brown. Clear. Red. But typically black. Do you need something else to be able to use this? No. Like what? I can just use it by itself. Don't need nothing else to use or wear it. No. Say no. Ten. Eleven. What's the price range typically? Two dollars, two, three dollars, maybe a dollar. One to three dollars is the range. <laughs> you might can get one for more, but I'm not spending more than that. Oh shit. I'm tired. Um Sunny P and the P stands for I got Pyro puzzled. What you gonna do? You got like one more question left. You gonna eat the chips or take a shot? Come on. I'll take a shot. But what's your one more question? You gonna use it? Yeah, I give up. Well, look at the answer. Ah, I started the fucking sick ass. What's the answer? A 
fucking calm. Yeah. I started to yes. fucking say yeah. that. Yes. I don't like you. That was it. Moving on to the next game. Take my goddamn shot. Grrr. Yeah. The Shot Glass Podcast. The most dopest, coolest, drinkingest, funnest podcast in the world. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right. Go. So that was all of that game. That was it. Money P and the P stands for plenty of wins. I don't care though. Whatever you about to say after you swallow that pause doesn't even really matter because the last game I won and I had you perplexed and hey, puzzled. Google. No. Where does it start with P? I already did I just did that. Oh my gosh, I just fucking Here's did that. Details. You get on my nerves. Look, you see I just did this. <laughs> oh shit. Funny P and the P stands for precious and potent. No, no, no. I'm a fine one. And petty. I'm a fine one. Oh my gosh. And peaceful. No, no, no. And patient. Not at all. And pretty. So there we go. Now let's go. Nope. Why would you be such a hater? None of those. The P and Sunny P stands for pressed. I should be mad. I be winning and be cheating to fucking win. Let me just share with you. The P and Sunny P. The Sunny P stands for having a positive vocabulary and it's positively pleasing. Not only can you compliment your precious pals, but you can let a partner know when they are being particularly personable. Now, moving on to the game that you have. Sunny P stands for pedestrian. Yo, <laughs> normal ass. Oh, Goddamn. Man, he's such a hater. Sunny P stands for pre publication. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, pre kindergarten ass. Oh, premature ass. Old. Uh, it's a lot of P words. Why can't you never have nothing sweet to say? Like, phenomenal. Yeah, I'm not looking at them all now. Practical. I ain't looking at it. The Sunny P stands for Parasite. <laughs> Yo, mama. Now, let's just move on, please. Predictability, because I predict you going to cheat. Damn. Moving on. Stop looking for stuff. The P and Sunny P stands for Psycho. <laughs> Facts. Facts. You ain't crazy. You just play crazy. All right, we're going to play this game. It's called Would You Rather. I'm going to give you some things to choose from. And you tell me which one you would rather do, have, or whatever. Okay. Would you rather? Would you rather live with roaches uh, or bed bugs? Oh, uh, I don't want to live with either. That's so fucking nasty. You know I don't like bugs. Would you rather? Oh my gosh, I don't like no fucking bugs. Scatter. Ew. As soon as you hit the lights, don't bed bugs bite you though? Know, Man, with bites. You can you can get somebody else roaches and bed bugs. Ew. <laughs> so which one would you rather uh, have I, I don't I already know my answer I don't want to say roaches but we gonna have to be together cause I can't do no bad bugs like they bite you that's disgusting that's I'm, true. Sorry. I'm sorry that's my answer I agree with her I, I'd rather have roaches than bad bugs I'm just not letting nobody over my house I know some people that have roaches. 
I still went over their house. That just gives me a whole heebie-jeebie. Shook all my clothes before I left out. But if you got bed bugs, ain't no shaking. Them motherfuckers can latch onto your clothes. Ain't no shaking them bitches off. You gotta pick them off. Yeah. Yeah. So. You got the beanies. Can't see me. Definitely a no. Definitely a no, son. I'd rather motherfucker have roaches all day than bed bugs. And I'll just give me heebie-jeebies. Would you rather. No. Get hit from an animal. Come on, what the fuck type of question? Of is your it? choosing, you can choose whatever if animal. It doesn't even matter. It's disgusting. What the fuck? Or would you rather give head to a homeless person? Would you rather get hit? What from... type of nigga are you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Would you rather? Oh, that's disgusting. Get hit from an animal of your choosing, or give hair to a homeless person? I'm not putting my mouth on no homeless person. Okay, so what animal would you get hair from? Animal, animal, animal. You think you're too hard on Tui. You know what you're about to say. No, because... You don't I'm... want to sound like a weirdo. No, because... You, you know what you're about to say. No, I don't know, because <laughs> it's like you're saying an animal. Yeah. I don't... <laughs> this is Animal. Like... Moo, moo, ba, ba, bark, bark, <laughs> meow, meow. Bloop, 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 bloop. Also, it can be bloop, bloop, bloop. Whatever. A fish. You get a head from a fish? I just, because. What kind of fish would you get I don't, head I don't, from? I don't. I don't. <laughs> be more specific. <laughs> I don't like the fact that you're asking me to be specific. And I try to pick, like, the easiest thing. Like. Fishes don't have tongues. But they suck. <laughs> I take it. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. You gonna get hair from a fish? What about you? What you gonna do? An animal. Okay, stop playing with me. What kind of animal? Ask me. I'm so scared. Ask what kind, me. What kind of animal? Get some of that giraffe neck. <laughs> Oh shit! Oh my gosh! Ain't no gawk gawk. It's bloop, 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 bloop. give me oh, all that. My goodness, I cannot. You would get, you would get hit from a fish though. Look at that. <laughs> she nasty, y'all. She nasty as hell. Would you rather drink ocean water? Yeah. The fuck? We or didn't... local lake water. Well, first of all, we just drank ocean water when we just fell in the I didn't drink it. Your ass drank it. Let's be let's be let's be honest. I ain't drink shit. <laughs> first of all, y'all we almost died in Virginia. I ain't drink shit. I don't want to talk about me getting the car towed, the riddle towed, and he fully like was GTA in the ocean and we fail and he wants to blame me for saying that I didn't fall the same way or the opposite way that the jet ski was going but I did and we still failed so point is we fell in the ocean so I've already fucking like took in at least some 10% of salt water so I take that I'm not taking no local water ew can you imagine taking in some summit lake water are you done yet yes First of all, I wasn't trying to go fast on the jet ski. She kept first hyping me was, up. No, first of all, he was kept driving. hyping me up. What am I supposed to she do? Didn't even wanna, what am I supposed to she do? She didn't even want to drive the jet ski. Where you going? Damn, how much you going to drink on the podcast? I'm about to take a shot. You done drank three things of water and they peed once. I didn't even <laughs> take no water. 
I had my juice. You drank two of these. First of all, it wasn't two of them. I had some um, sun kiss in there. That was wrong. This was full. full. Like, sir, no, it was was not full. This was full. It was not full. When you first got it? Yeah, it was a juice. But I take it with my shot. All right now. All right now. Moving on. All right now. I don't have to explain what I do. It's what works for me. Go ahead. We are on the jet skis. And I'm telling her because she got me going fast because she not driving. She she not feeling none of this scaredness or none of that, none of that. She don't want to drive, none of that. So we out in the water. Pause. The light. He's no, scared. let me tell my story. No, but you I said didn't interrupt you. Wasn't you. On the I, back. Did, I didn't interrupt you. You wasn't gonna drive it no way. So don't try to use that as an excuse. Cause the next time we can go jet skiing, your ass could drive. We gonna see how you do. Don't interrupt me. Yeah, it, 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 I mean, hell no, nah. you cap artist here. You would take this, you capping. How weird. <laughs> okay, so we in the water, and for me playing games in like Wave Race sixty four, Grand Theft Auto, like a bunch of games with jet skis. I know, like once you start leaning a certain way. You gotta lean towards the other way and try to stare at that motherfucker. I, I had to tell her. I did. I definitely. I had to tell you to do that. Yes, you did. I said when it start tipping one water. way, go the other way. Yes. I She's just gonna fall with it. If the jet ski start going this way, I'm gonna be like, oh my god, babe, we're falling! Ah! <laughs> I had to tell her like, if it start leaning this way, lean that way. They called us back. I didn't go too far from the fucking lifeguards because I don't want to die. My black ass don't want to die. Um, I don't know how to swim, but I do know how to float. So I floated there until Chad came and was like, do you need help? Because I saw when we fell off. How did you float? I was like. <laughs> <laughs> you just put your back in the arch and just. Piece of corn. I just let it all go. I just floated up to the top. So once Chad came, because I think when we fell off, that the guy on the boat was like, hey, they need help. So he came. He was like, you need help. I climbed up on the back. He brought me back over to our um, little jet ski. And there it was. They, yeah, no. They were saved. Yeah, no. So you rather drink ocean water? I have. So our, than I have water. already. Yep. Mm -hmm. What's your answer? Ditto. No. Local lake water, ugh. You know what I'm saying? You have some. Yeah, give me. You would drink ocean some water. They, water. Say, they say ocean water is salty because it got sperm from whales in it. We've seen fucking dolphins in the fucking water where you did. Okay, give me. So, that. I'm going to take that. What you going to do? You Somebody going to say, here, Summit Lake Water. Wait a minute. Northside over there in the creek water. What? Gorge water. I might drink some gorge water. I might. Ah, ocean water. That shit's salty. Yeah. I might get sick if I drink some lake water, though. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Give me the lake water. Fuck it. Yeah. You want to take the lake water? Yeah, I don't want no salty ass water. Oh my gosh. That shit I, disgusting. I took that salty ass water in the ocean, so I'm just like, yeah, we can go ahead and do that. Would you rather, Would you rather... jump out of a plane? Nope. Or swim with sharks. I'm scared of heights. Are you scared of sharks? Yeah. I ain't talking about being in no cage. I'm talking about being down there with the snorkelers and everything. Actually swimming with the motherfucker sharks. They gonna bite me? If you on your period, they might. <sighs> you know, they sense blood from a mile away. <laughs> I can feel, like, the anxiety already, like, from imagining to jump out the plane. So. Your hand shaking. Hold your hand. Yeah, yeah I'm, 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 I'm. You can clam me already. I'm nervous. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm nervous. Um. Do you swim with sharks? What if you're on your period? But and why why does that have to be a, like a circumstance? Like if I'm on my period, I'm not gonna go. Hey, you need, I'm not gonna period, come. I'm not gonna come when they come. But we, they don't we, come when they come. When they come when they come, like just something happens. Well, what if they month. What if they choose you to do it while you on it? Like am I in a cage? 
No, I already you said that. In the ocean, like, no, <laughs> you are in motherfucking ocean swimming. How freely with far the is this jump out the plane? Like, is it how far when we was parasailing? Like yes, thousand feet. No, because you can't open Come the parachute. Come on, guy. I'm gonna say yes. You can't. They, okay. they have the parachute a thousand yeah, feet up in the air. Yes, you can. You can't. You can't jump down from a thousand feet and parachute and then be cool into the water. Yes, you can. So you gonna jump into the water with yeah. sharks after you parachute? I jump into the water. You gonna swim with sharks? You gonna you do both? You didn't say that I'm gonna go jump into the water and it's gonna be sharks. I would say it's twice. Water. I would say it's twice as high as we was parasailing, cause you gotta let, let time to get the parachute to open. It ain't like the parachute can just pick you up cause the fucking shit driving you fall in. You gotta parachute. Whatever the base jump is for a fucking airplane. It's giving me anxiety. Hey Google, what's the altitude of people who jump from planes? skydive Newport in the recreational world of skydiving jumping is most often conducted between the altitudes of 10,000 and 13,500 feet <laughs> bitch I'm being in with them sharks <laughs> me and them sharks gonna be floating baby I promise you I will not like it's giving me anxiety now and it's making me sweat thinking about jumping out of a plane I'm jumping no. out I'm jumping go red team go <laughs> hit a nigga with that Jump out the plane, All right. like... Is somebody on there with me when I'm jumping? If you wanted to be. It could be somebody there when you swimming with the sharks. If I'm jumping out of a plane, somebody's with me. They can pull the thing and I can faint. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Plane. I can die. No, you gotta take a shot if you gonna... Go ahead I just, and I just had a chip. No, go take that. You change your answer. Can't do that. So, well, yeah. Can't do that. You never said that Can't was the that. rules. Can't do I'm making, never said I'm that. I'm making the rules now. now. This is <laughs> fucking sunny. <laughs> the P to B because this is some bitch shit. So now I'm going to B. You don't want to change your answer because I said. So what? Because you said I can so have somebody to be with me. So like I can pull the fucking Radio. Who is you, rock and roll? <laughs> Y'all see what I'm saying? What's the next radio? This is the last one. Shot glass podcast, man. You ain't even took no shot. You a whole little. I drank. No, you didn't. <laughs> Come on. Would you rather have Shot your eyes? Podcast. Why are you just ignoring I'm, it? I'm about to. Hold on. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Get ready to pour my shot. We're going to take this last shot before we get the fuck up out of here. Well, let me answer this question first. Goddamn shit. Would you rather, and take the shot before you answer this question, <laughs> and you can't, you can't be changing your fucking answers. That's a new rule. You can't change your answers. Why? If you change your answer, you got to take a shot to change your answer. Stick with what you mean. Don't 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 but take after, back no no. After I thought about it. No, you should think about it first. You don't get you no. Didn't say you, that don't get no hey, you didn't say that I could have some. You didn't say. You don't get no do But you didn't say that I could have somebody go hey, with boo-boo. me. You didn't say that, hey, pool. You didn't get no. You don't get no do You do-overs. didn't say that. Think about it. No do overs. There's no do overs, babe. You didn't say that, little. You didn't ask that. Well, you didn't tell you me. Ask that. Tell you should ask that. We can answer it. I would tell you. Okay, you should I'm ask me. A lot of detailed yeah, questions you, now you since can. you asked me to come up with hands bullshit. like Birdman, yeah. please. Well, Birdman. kiss a man. Get your ass with the f- shot glass podcast. It's your boy P G in here. It's with girl, Sunny, Sunny P. P that sometimes can switch to B. Sunny P stands for pissed off. Sunny P stands for I should pour this alcohol on her. Would you rather have your eyes close together or far apart? Mm-hmm. Uh, 
Oh, water with alcohol is disgusting. That's for people who don't drink water. What the fuck does that mean? Okay, so <laughs> that's the only water you get close together or far apart. Yes, would you rather have your eyes in here by your nose or out towards the outside of your head? Would you rather? None. Um. Would you rather close together? Close like, I don't together. want to let no snail or far apart. Close together. I can't do far apart. You will hmm. look like a turtle. So, you, so you want to have people looking cross-eyed when they look at you, because they look at you in your eyes and they be like. Well, they're looking cross-eyed. I'm not. Yeah, but your eyes is like... But I'm not right there next to each other damn near. So... (laughs) (laughs) So they're like, right? Yes! Close as hell together. Let me see. Let me see if I can find some pictures. I'm still going to say I'd rather have that than have, like, my eyes over here on the side of my head. You know how crazy you about to be looking? I can't find that. I damn near can... I, I for sure can find the eyes far apart, though. Okay, so boom. Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. I'm, I'm going to show y'all. Would you rather have your eyes like this? Or give me the other one. Look, let me, let me show y'all. My phone is cracked, so don't talk shit. Would y'all rather have your eyes like this? Or <laughs> show me the other one. Show me the other one where their eyes is like over here. I'm telling you, I'm still about to go with close together. I'll be, i uh, listen. Uh, I'm, let me see. <laughs> Which would y'all rather have? Give me close together. <laughs> Give me close together. Yeah, that far apart kind of looks slow. What's wrong with you? I'm not. I'm. I'm. I'm not doing that. Shout out to all the people with their eyes close together or far apart. Oh shit. And this has been episode one of the Shot Glass Podcast. It's your boy P Ro G. The the graphic T King in his mo- Don't look at me like that. <laughs> Don't look at me like that. Just sip your water. The graphic T King, man. Y'all see Monsters Eight today. We don't know what we're gonna be seeing next week. I got I got hella shit, man. Graphic T King, man. Your boy your girl Sunny P. Sunny P. Oh my goodness. We out, man. Subscribe. Like. Like. Share. Share. Comment below. Comment, especially for the games we Definitely. were playing. If you like to come on the show, if you like to partake, if you like to come and just chime in on the things that we talk about, current events. Just the games that we do. Just anything. Comment, like, share. All those things. Thank you. Fuck with your boy. And girl. Yeah, because he petty. He and girl. No.